this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for our September 2015 tarot reading for the sign of Gemini. And as I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share for my viewers and for the highest good of all. Okay, for the beginning of the month, we'll take a card from the top. For the middle of the month, I'm going to pull a card from the center. And for the end of the month, I'm going to pull a card from the bottom. Okay, Gemini, what do we have here? And I'm interested to know myself because I'm a Gemini as well. Okay, we start the beginning of the month with the Empress. Okay, and the Empress is in reverse, but this is what it looks like right side up. Okay, beautiful woman sitting on her throne, moon in the background surrounded. Uh, it looks like here in the background there is a, a castle, a tower, beautiful trees, uh, nice nice greenery down here at the bottom. And she's looking straight ahead with a serious look. However, Empress is upside down for you in the beginning of the month, Gemini. Okay, and with the reversed card, as always, it has a different meaning than if it was upright. Okay, and when I look at this card, what I get from spirit is I'm feeling, well, I'm feeling the purples in this card, this dark card, and it's it's evening, it's dusk, it's a moon. Okay, and usually the empress is the beginning of something, like giving birth to something, uh, the actual start of something, maybe a project of some kind. Okay, and this card is you're smothering a project or you're smothering someone you're, you're giving it too much how could I say you're putting too much of yourself into something okay you're, you're nurturing something too much and you're trying to rush something you're trying to rush some type of a situation or a project and what's this what this is telling us is is to back off and let nature take its course. And how I always see it is everything is in divine timing. Sometimes you just have to let go and let God. And it is so hard for us as Geminis to do that. Because I am the first person that will roll up my sleeves and get down to business and make things happen. But in the beginning of September, this is telling us to back off to not force something, to not over-nurture it, do not chase after it, do not apply pressure to it. <laughs> if we could sit still and do that, it's going to be an accomplishment for me. Because like I said, I'm, I'm a very impatient go-getter of a Gemini, and I'm sure we all are, depending upon what our natal aspects are in our, our natal chart. But to me, it's hard for me to sit back and allow things to flow. I always want to get my hands on it and I want to rush it along and further it. But this is going to be a time of waiting. It's, it's going to be a time of let's sit and wait and let's just let go, let God, let's just see how it materializes on its own. It's kind of like putting a, a, a pot on the stove on the back burner. Just let it simmer. Just let it take its time, and, you know, what's going to happen in divine timing, of course, is always for our best. So kind of back off in the beginning of September from whatever it is that you're trying too hard to do or to bring about. And the next card for the middle of September is the Eight of Wands. And this is what it looks like, upright, woman kneeling down, the wands are pointing at her. There's a raven, a blackbird. It looks like there's a glow of the moon back here. And it looks like she's out in a farmland, maybe. Oh, no, that's maybe this is a farming land here. It looks like the ground is upturned. But in the back, it's it's water. Okay, there's a ship back here, if you could see it. But uh, this card is, again, a reversed card. Okay, and when I think of the wands... Okay, and especially when I look at this card, uh, what I'm getting from Spirit is, well, her kneeling down, first of all, is someone who isn't at attention. They're, they're not alert. They're not, they're kind of, I don't want to say humbled, but I, I guess humbled would be the right word. Uh, this suggests that we're being hasty in some situation. 
Okay, and we're still moving too fast and not in tune with the energies that surround us. I mean, these swords here are pointing at her. That's energy being directed. Okay, but she's looking away. She's not looking towards the sword. She's looking away. She's not even acknowledging this. Okay, and again, in the beginning of the month, we got to step back and let something take its course. Let something happen naturally instead of forcing it. But here, the Eight of Wands, again, is suggesting that we're being too hasty in the middle of the month. Okay, and that we need to slow down. Okay, we need to slow down. And again, that's easier said than done. I mean, I, I could be on overdrive all the time. I, I work myself to exhaustion sometimes, and it's not good. And I know it's not good. It's, I guess it's just in my personality, just in my nature to be that way. And the hardest thing sometimes is for us to sit still. Uh, but this card is telling us to, you know, slow down. Okay? Just still let things be. Okay? And try to tune into the energy around you. Try to get a sense, a feeling of the energy that surrounds you in the middle of the month. And if you're hustling and bustling and rushing around and doing things at a frantic pace, you're going to miss out on that energy. You have to sit still. And again, easier said than done <laughs> for us Gemini people. But at the end of the month here, okay, uh, this is a beautiful card, man and woman. Four of Wands, you see one, two, three, four, beautiful castle in the background. There's a beautiful, beautiful uh, display up here hanging from wand to wand, a beautiful spray of it. it looks greenery. I'm not sure if there's any flowers in there, and there are birds soaring in the sky. Uh, we have a full moon again. I think that's what I love the most about these cards is almost all of them have a depiction of the moon. This one had a small one. This one had a larger one. This one's even larger yet. And again, we're still with the wands, okay? And this is an upright card, the four of wands, okay? And this represents some type of happiness and a celebration, a small celebration. You don't see a big crowd of people here. It's two people, okay? This may be between you and a spouse, you and a lover, you and a friend maybe, but it's a small party of two here is what I want to emphasize, okay? And whatever you're working on, this card here is showing you success. Okay, and to take a moment at the end of the month to be happy for the success. Okay, things are looking well, they're looking good. Okay, and you, you're laying the foundation for some future thing to build something on. Maybe you're maybe you're building a home, maybe you're you're getting married, maybe you're investing, maybe you're expanding a business, beginning a business, but whatever you had to sit back and let percolate, so to say. Okay, here pick up on the energies, okay, it's going to be worthwhile at the end of the month, okay? You're going to be happy that you didn't force things because what is meant for us to be will be. If we force something and it's not meant, it's going to be miserable, okay? But if we allow the universe to bring us what we truly deserve and, and to get out of our way, and like in the beginning of the month, sit still, allow it to happen on its own, don't over-nurture. Don't over-smother the situation. Don't force the issue. Middle of the month, tune into your energy. Make sure that you're fully aware of everything around you, your feelings, your intuition, and still sit back and allow things to take place. And at the end of the month, you're going to be so glad you did. There's going to be a small celebration of some kind for whatever it is that you're working on. Like I said, whether it be a project, whether it be a new relationship, whether it be a new friendship, Something is going to be celebrated by the end of the month, and it's going to be very satisfying for you, Gemini. If you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I'll be back.